Hey everybody, thought I'd make a video today. I've been looking around for ancient history news stories for a video, but I thought I'd do an individual story on this one today. This is about a discovery made in the Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area. Not sure where it is. They are keeping this a secret. Let's go over to a news story that came out about eight or nine hours ago. This is the Insider, and I will leave the link below. It says one of the biggest fossil finds in California history has revealed ancient elephants, camels, and bone-crushing dogs. And there is a pic from the site here. It says a fossilized mastodon skull and tusk discovered in an area of California east of Oakland. It says the site contains hundreds of fossils from nearly a dozen ancient species. The site contains hundreds of petrified trees as well. It's one of the largest fossil finds in California history and new fossils are being unearthed there almost every day. The discovery includes fossils from prehistoric elephants with four tusks, mammoth-like mastodon, tortoises, and camels. The findings so far have all been dated between 5 and 10 million years old. So that's a period of history I don't talk too much about. Ranger Greg Francic was patrolling land in Northern California last summer when he spotted a weird looking rock. I was curious and had a closer look, Francis told the insider. The rock wasn't a rock at all, but a petrified tree that was millions of years old. One of the ends of the tree was partially exposed to my surprise. And I could see the tree rings, and there is a look at that petrified tree right there. After discovering the petrified tree, Francis called paleontologist Russell Shapiro at the University of California, Chico. It wasn't the first time Shapiro had been asked to look at potential fossils. We get that call a lot, he told Insider, but when Francis took Shapiro to see the ancient tree, they discovered a stunning trove of animal fossils. And there is a look at one of them, and this is a mastodon tooth discovered in an area of California, east of Oakland. I mentioned megafauna a lot on my channel, but they stretch back millions of years, went extinct around 11, 12,000 years ago for some reason. But I talked about them yesterday, and I will leave the link for that video below. But getting back to the story here, it says, the very first day I could look on the ground and go, well, that's an elephant, that's a rhinoceros. That's a tortoise, that's a camel, Shapiro said. We found all this just by tripping over it, Shapiro knew. It was an unprecedented discovery. Francic, it turns out, had stumbled across one of the largest fossil finds ever found in California. They have been excavating the site for about 10 months now, and it seems they want to keep the location a secret just to protect it. It says, now a team from EB, MUD, and CSU Chico are steadily excavating the site, the fossils they found offer a glimpse into an era of history known as the Miocene Epoch, which occurred between 5 and 23.5 million years ago. California looked quite differently back in the Miocene. There was no Sierra Nevada mountains, according to Shapiro, and dry grasslands were peppered with volcanoes. Still, the creatures that inhabited the land bore some resemblance to the animals alive today. But that right there is a massive fossil found at the site. This is a tortoise shell, in case you're wondering, and this is a Gomphotherus fossil. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But here is what Gomphotherus looked like. It was a species that was similar to elephants. It says, Gomphotherus were widespread in North America during the Miocene. They had tusks protruding from above and below their mouths. It says, Francic found fossils from numerous Gomphotherus, including an enormous, complete lower jaw and tusks. That is quite the fossil right there. It says that required 124 hours of excavation with a hammer and a chisel and a tractor to lift it out of the ground. Shapiro said the team has unearthed countless herbivores, but very few predator fossils. 10 months into the excavation, he said, we're just starting to find evidence of carnivores. And here's what they call a bone crushing dog. And the name is Epikion Hedeni. And I know I might've mispronounced that says, addition to fossil, fossils of weasel and fox relatives, they found evidence of a bone-crushing dog, prehistoric dog-like creatures that split off from the species that eventually became our pets. These ancient dogs had strong jaws. They evolved the ability to chomp bone. And I'm not sure how long the length is here, but if you want to look more into this, I will leave the link below. Once fully excavated, the fossils get taken to a lab in Chico. Shapiro said the team has finally secured a lab large enough to properly study all the findings. They're working to count them and date them more precisely. It says all the bones come from pretty much one geological layer. 
that suggests the ancient creatures were fossilized all around the same time and maybe a catastrophic event kind of put them all at one geological layer. Since the excavations are still ongoing, the public is not allowed to visit the site. Instead, it is set up an online tour of the findings for users to explore. It says the secrecy is warranted. After Francis's initial discovery, Shapiro recalled the ranger's excitement at the prospect of showing him that first petrified tree. But when they arrived, part of it was missing. It was like a punch to the gut to find that some of the petrified tree remains have been stolen and vandalized. Geez, what the heck's the matter with people? After that, team quickly secured the remaining specimens and installed around-the-clock patrol to site, so I guess that's good. We initially waited nearly a year to announce a discovery so that we could establish a solid security measures. I just thought that was an interesting story to cover. Learned a lot. The megafauna is something that I've talked about quite a bit. Very interesting find in California. But here is what they call a rough outline of the East Bay Municipal Utility District's area coverage. And this find was made somewhere, somewhere in that circle there. And I've talked about the California mystery walls in this area. I thought that was a pretty important major find in California. Just came out today, the news story. I've talked a lot about megafauna. Fascinates me what used to exist on this planet a long time ago. And in this case, millions of years ago. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.